Okay, here we go guys. Headed down to meet up with Sean for his 2017 Desert Bighorn Sheep Tag. Um, we're headed south left this morning. We'll meet up with Sean this afternoon. Sean's been down here since Thursday morning. Had a chance to do a little bit of scouting and found a couple rams. So hopefully we can get down here and get it done for Sean. We're going to be meeting up with Tyson on Sunday, so we'll have another set of eyes behind the glass, and should be a good hunt. Rolled into camp the first day around noon, got everything set up for the next couple of days. Talking with Sean, we decided we would go up and look for the rams that he'd spotted the day before. When we got up to the area where Sean had seen the rams, it didn't take long before we were looking over sheep. Here's a little bit of footage of some of the sheep that we seen the first night that we were in camp. So the second day we decided we were going to split up. I was going to go look for some rams in a couple other different canyons while Sean stayed behind and watched the rams that we had seen the night before. Sean also had to meet up with Megan and Tyson later that afternoon. Here's just a little bit of the footage of some of the rams that I seen that second day.
After looking over quite a few rams, I met back up with Sean, Megan, and Tyson for the evening. After talking and looking at some of the footage I took from the day, we decided that the rams that we had spotted the first day would be the ones we'd hunt in the morning. So we packed up, headed back into the basin, hoping to turn the rams up and have a plan in place for opening morning. When we got to our glassing point, we spotted some ewes and small rams in the distance. After a while longer, we spotted the rams we were looking for, and after watching the rams until dark, we made our way off the ridge and back to camp. Opening morning found us hiking in to the spot we glassed the rams the night before. Once in place, we glassed the basin with little to no activity except for this young ram that came by us. Not turning up the rams, we decided it'd be best if we moved up the ridge and looked into some of the drainages down towards the last place that we'd seen the rams. So while working down the ridges and glassing, we encountered numerous ewes and younger rams, which ended up slowing our progress. Working past those sheep, and we finally made it to the drainage where we had thought the rams would be. So we climbed up to the edge of the, the hill there and looked down in the drainage, and we quickly picked up sheep in the bottom and uh, didn't take long before we spotted the ram that we were after. Being uh, out of range, and we quickly moved back over the ridge and out of sight, and the stock was on from there. We quickly moved down the ridge and into a position that Sean could take the shot.
Got him. Got him. Right behind the ribs. Yep, hit him again. He's going down. No, he's still up. Wait for it. He's gonna angle up. Quarter in. Yeah, don't shoot. Yeah, he's right behind the looks like a little bit back but walking left stopping Better do We got him. He's done. Wow, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, good job, Thanks, man. guys. That's awesome. Good. Yeah, that's a good round.